ติดเพิดเทลิฟอนเตอร์ 
SS Oberstuhl and Vera Eichmann, we discussed the question of the deportation of Jews. We decided that the uh, that, uh, again the uh, children uh, could be deported to, to the government uh, to the central government. Uh, General Secretary uh, Nobas assured uh, to make possible as from September 10 transports to the government to the government general territory, uh, comprising all sorts of Jews. The old men and older people are in and are capable of working. Uh, I can, uh, said that for the government it would be impossible to control more than 10 jobs and that there are contacts with the French government so far as the continuation of so far as the convoy from Bordeaux was concerned it was cancelled it was explained that the result of a guarantee of S.S. Sadat and Fira Dr. Flaminski and she was the first police bouquet not to take other Jews the state was one, and now a completely new situation had been created, which troubled considerably the heads of the Gestapo. Yes, made it clear that Eichmann can less אתה רוצה לומר משהו בנדון? אייכמן, אני זוכר עכשיו בנוגע לילדים. אני זוכר, שמעתי על כך. ההכרעה העקרונית הזאת בשביל אותם ילדים נעשתה להימנע אישית. השאלה נוגשה מן המשרד הראשי לביטחון הרייך באמצעות גבול גבול המילה שראו מצב הילדים נקשו הרעות כיצד יש לנגוד. בעניין הזה לא הוכרע לא על ידי מילה, אך לא הוכרע על ידי ראש משטרת The question has not been told by Miller, nor by the chief of the RSHA, but it has been submitted to Himmler, and Himmler then decided uh, to send those children away. Now I remember the superintendent when the question was less. אז אני דומני אמרתי שאני זוכר איך שהוא עניין ילדים, אבל זה לא זה, זהו, כן. על כך ציווה הימלר אישית. האם יש להכרעה הזאת קשר כלשהו לשאלות טכניות של משלוח? בעולם של ארבעה חלקים ילדים הנשלחים למחנה השמדה. אייכמן הכין על הפקת במקרה זה ההנחיות לביצוע המשלוחים, כי אלה הן הרשויות של המפקד. היה צריך לצייד אותן להנחיות. להנחיות אלה הייתי צריך להשיג בשבילי. את אלה המחלקה הייתה צריכה להשיג. אז אני רוצה לחתום לי על המסמך השני. אני מבקש להשמיע את הקטע
Can you explain one thing more, which I failed to understand? Uh, the question uh, that it was not desirable to return uh, Jews from abroad and the appropriation of their property. What does this have to do with, tech, with technical matters of transport? Answer, yes, Mr. Superintendent. Uh, it transpires again and again uh, that your department dealt with such matters. Uh, in addition to the question of transport, answer, yes, Mr. Superintendent, this is uh, correct to a certain extent because uh, these are uh, things one must bring into consideration before a deportation is possible because it is impossible that uh, a certain authority goes onto the street, catches Jews and uh, arranges their transport because it is called the, they call the transport of Jews. Uh, this is impossible and uh, it was necessary to prepare all the uh, necessary steps by IVB4. Question, I would like you to stop now because the tape is finished. Uh, we shall uh, continue tomorrow. The time now is exactly 14 and 14 minutes. Eichmann, okay. Prosecution. I request page 716, the top of the page, please. Bitte, stimmen Sie dem zu? Herr Hauptmann, das 
Kanal 4 und hat nie Tötungsbefehle bekommen. Nie. Damit hat das Frau 4 4 nichts zu tun gehabt. Sondern es ist der reine transportmäßige Teil gewesen, zu dem selbstverständlich, wie ich ja angegeben habe, die Voraussetzungen notwendig waren. Denn ich sagte schon gestern, glaube ich, dass es natürlich nie so gehen konnte, also zum Beispiel Befehl für Paris oder Den Haag oder Brüssel, hier 1000 Mann in einen Zug hinein. Sondern dann mussten Richtlinien erstellt werden. Die Leute mussten ja, die Evakuierungsbehörde musste ja wissen, was und welcher Personenkreis. Diese Feststellung hat selbstverständlich, das muss ich zugeben, das Referat EB4 an diese Stellen gemäß den vorliegenden Weisen und Befehlungen der Vorgesetzten von EB4 weitergegeben. Was this the law of the Reich? Was this the final solution of the Jewish problem? Also the law of the Reich, Eichmann. The final solution of the Jewish question itself. And I'm referring now to the special task which was given to Heidrich. And I'm going to emphasize this: the putting to death was not the law of the Reich. It was the order of the Führer, what was called the order of the Führer, and him and Heidrich, at the head of the central office for administration, divided the matters out between them in accordance with the order of the Führer. In accordance with the legal conceptions of the time, which were commonly accepted, the words of the Führer had the force of the law. This was a well-known matter. It was not only in this question, but in all the matters, as all the central authorities were concerned, they had to deal with these matters in a proper, in a fitting manner. The words of the Fira had the force of the law, applied in every place. As far as all the central authorities were concerned, they had to deal with these matters in a proper, in a fitting manner. The words of the Fira had the force of the law, applied in every place. Last, is this then a reply to my question? Now, Eichmann, yes, this was yesterday too. You put the question correctly yesterday. Were the targets uh, or the objectives of, uh, the de of my department only those of transport? Well, were they not uh, beyond the transport matters as well? It is true, they, they were duties beyond transport, but uh, these instructions were a preliminary condition for implementation. Was there not a special objective which uh, you had to carry out the extermination of the Jews? As you said, you received from on high the instruction. Eichmann, yes. There was nothing direct. I wanted always to explain the matter so as if I was a transport officer, nothing more. And this, is in fact, was the case, Mr. Chief Inspector. Here is a certain part of the remarks of both of, the, Mr. of Eichmann and the Chief Inspector are not clear. Last, it would appear that your duties were, went far beyond this, that you had to be active in regard to these matters. The question is, it is quite uh, irrelevant, uh, unimportant whether you acted in these matters in regard, uh, in terms of instructions which you received from elsewhere. You were not only engaged in what you call technical matters, but you also dealt with matters which, were, which could not be regarded just as technical. Do you agree to this, Mr. Chief Inspector? 4B4 Department never got instructions to exterminate Jews, nor did 4B4 have any contact with these matters, but it had simply the duty of transportation. I said yesterday, I believe, that it could never have been so from the administrative point of view. For example, 
They Hague, order for Paris or, or Hague or Brussels a thousand people to be put on a train. The evacuating authority had to know with what uh, groups of people to deal. I admit that uh, Department 4B4 continued to deal with these matters in accordance with the instructions it received from its superiors. I request the, the next, uh, next extract from page 724. <laughs> So, doch bei all Ihren Erklärungen verstecken Sie sich doch immer wieder, versuchen sich zurückzuziehen, zu verstecken hinter, das war nicht mein Ressort, das war nicht mein Gebiet, das war an, an äh, Vorsch äh, die Vorschriften, die ich bekam, das gehört zur, Reichs zur Reichsbahn und so weiter und so weiter. Ja, das muss ich ja nachher von denn als Dezernent 4 bis 4 bin ich ja nun wirklich nicht für alles zuständig gewesen, sondern eben nur für mein äh, relativ eng umrissenes Aufgabengebiet. Und dieses eng umrissene Aufgabengebiet, das ist ja jederzeit feststellbar, denn es war ja eine, eine Zentralinstanz gewesen. Please, Mr. Liss. You say that you had no part in the extermination, okay. Eichmann, that is correct, less. less. But the transports were arranged for the extermination and people were sent to the slaughter. Eichmann, yes, that is true, to the extent, uh, Mr. Chief Inspector, that I received instructions to evacuate people, but not every person whom I evacuated was put to death. This uh, was out of the scope of my knowledge, who was put to death or not. Otherwise, uh, at the final count, one wouldn't have found uh, 2,400,000 Jews less. Yesterday, I answered you on this question and I told you that, that you can't uh, have to your credit the fact that those Jews were found as survivors. That was to the credit of the Allies after the final victory in the war. Had the war continued, even those two million Jews would not have been found alive because your program was complete extermination of the Jews. Eichmann, not my program, because I had no connection with this program, Mr. Chief Inspector. Less. Certainly you had connection with this program. Eichmann, yes, I suppose for collaboration I am guilty. This is quite clear. There's a correction uh, to, for, for my work in assisting this program, I am guilty. This is quite clear. To this extent, I certainly cannot uh, abdicate from, any res from responsibility, and uh, I couldn't attempt to do this, because in legal terms, I'm certainly guilty of being an accomplice to this. This I see clearly myself, and I accept this, less. We're not speaking here about legal terms, but about facts. Eichmann, yes. But I refer on the basis of the facts to, uh, to, juris, to jurisprudence. In terms of jurisprudence, I could be regarded as an accomplice, and I understand that. And therefore, I'm trying... No, I cannot attempt... I cannot uh, absolve myself or make excuses, absolve myself from this responsibility. 
less, but you keep on trying to make efforts in all your replies to say that this wasn't your area of authority, these were just instructions which you received, that this belonged to the Reich, to the Reich Transport Office, and so on. Yes, I was compelled to do this, Mr. Chief Inspector, as head of the Department 4B4, I certainly had no authority in regard to all these matters, but only in regard to the targets which were, which were the, within the province of my department. Within the narrow limits, here I could work because this was obviously a central authority. לפני הקטע המתחיל בשאלתך בעמוד 855, here of that act in Eastern Abzatz. Mr. Les, replying to a query from the Attorney General, says that here this uh, a further extract refers to a report with regard to the Vanzay Conference. <laughs> Correct. And uh, remarks that this that uh, the uh, recording should start from page 855 of the tape. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I can't hear a thing, do you? Unter diesen Rubrik nach Gefahrverminderung gefallen, weil es ja so gemeldet worden ist. Insofern selbstverständlich, ja. Hier auf Seite 8 im ersten Absatz äh, fährt dann Heinrich fort. Der allfällig endlich verbleibende Restbestand wird, da sich bei diesem Zweifellos um den widerstandsfähigsten Teil handelt, entsprechend behandelt werden müssen, da dieser eine natürliche Auslese darstellt, bei Freilassung als Keilzelle eines neuen jüdischen Aufbaus anzusprechen ist. Was bedeutet hier äh, entsprechend behandelt werden müssen? Ja, das ist, das ist ein, diese Sache, die stammt von, die stammt von Himmler mit natürlicher Auslese. Das ist sein, das ist sein Steckenpferd. Ja, natürliche Auslese. Ja, aber was bedeutet hier getötet, getötet sich? Sicher. Hier auf Seite 9 am ersten Absatz wird dann Folgendes gesagt. Ich zitiere aus dem Satz heraus. Bezüglich der Behandlung der Endlösung in den von uns gesetzten und beeinflussten europäischen Gebieten wurde vorgeschlagen, dass die in Betracht kommenden Sachbearbeiter des Auswärtigen Amtes sich mit dem zuständigen Referenten der Sicherheitspolizei und des SD besprechen. Der hier erwähnte zuständige Referent, bezieht sich das auf Sie? Das würde sich auf mich beziehen, ja. Ich kann ich mal sehen, mit der Repräsentation wurde vorgeschlagen, wurde vorgeschlagen, dass die in Betracht kommenden Sachbearbeiter sind. Das wurde also offen, offenbar, wurde das von dem äh, Vertreter des Auswärtigen Amtes, oder war das hier gewesen, von Unterstaatssekretär Luther, wurde also offenbar vorgeschlagen, nicht offenbar, selbstverständlich geht er hier raus hervor, 
dass die Betrachtung des Arbeiters aus den Amtes mit den zuständigen Referenten Sicherheitspolizei und SSD in Verbindung setzen. Das wäre nicht gewesen, der Wolf. Here on page 8, in the first uh, paragraph, Heydrich continues, with those who are likely to remain in the end, one will have to treat in a suitable way because this will certainly be uh, those fit more than others to stand the ordeal and they must be regarded as a choice made by nature for a seed for the rehabilitation and regrowing of the Jewish people if they are freed. Uh, what is this question of suitable treatment, Eichmann? This, uh, this uh, originated with Himmler, a uh, choice made by nature. This uh, was an expression he liked very much. Uh, less. Uh, what does it mean in this context? Eichmann killed, killed of course. Less. Here on page 9, in the first paragraph, it is said, and I quote, regarding uh, the treatment of, for the final solution in the taken areas and areas under our influence, it was proposed that uh, those in charge of uh, sections will come and hold counsel with the head of the security police. The authorized head of department, does that concern you, Eichmann? Yes, uh, this uh, would concern me. Uh, may I see the document again, uh, please? It was uh, proposed that uh, those who were concerned, it seems that it was suggested, it was suggested by uh, representative of the Foreign Office or maybe by Luther, it was uh, proposed, it seems, uh, this is uh, self-explanatory, because uh, those who are concerned, uh, the uh, officers of the Foreign Office, should get in touch with the uh, head of the security police. That would mean my, uh, me. Mr. Less, uh, the part in uh, the declaration on uh, page 932, answer by witness, uh, this is a result from the question I posed on page 931, where I asked the accused if the report or the conversations held uh, between his representatives and his assistant, the accused assistant with other institutions, were held with his knowledge and uh, with his consent. Prosecution thanks the witness and requests the reading of uh, page 932, the question put by Mr. Les to the accused. dass er nicht erklären konnte, was er mit oder ohne Befehl tat. Er war ein Mordbeamter und er wusste es, solange er es war. Er hatte damals weder Hemmung noch den Drang, sich auf Befehlswirtschaft zu berufen. Und er würde die Verantwortung dafür und auf sich nehmen müssen. Das lässt es. Journalisten geschickt. In meiner Einstellung die gewesen ist, dass ich meine Tatheit getreu und gehorche, so lässt es sich, so kann man daran nicht rücken und nicht zeugen. Journalisten, ja, die können das. Romane Schriftsteller können das auch. Das ist nicht. Es ist jetzt 16.15 Uhr und wir brechen ab. Uh, the President of Court, uh, Mr. Hausner, on page uh, 2669, and uh, the President of Court reads out in German, 
sensitive to coercive uh, or to farmers. Two lines uh, maintaining that he did not hear it on the tape. The prosecution. It is uh, ah. printed according to the signed uh, transcription, and the court ah. will be able to yeah. examine this. In the uh, copy signed by the accused, the president maintains he did not hear the certain sentence in the tape. Uh, the prosecution, I believe, it is on the tape. We shall examine the tape. Les, I would like now to read before you uh, some uh, cuttings from a German illustrated paper, the Der Stern, uh, volume 28 of uh, the 9th of July, 1960. There was an article about you in that paper. I do not read uh, the whole article, but only uh, the part, parts out of this article. Here, we read as follows. And uh, thus he writes, and uh, that means you, on uh, the front page of the book at uh, the uh, Atom by uh, Franz Kahn. I read the book like others, that I read other books. And I find in this book a confirmation to the belief in the uh, social God, social national God, because this is closely this is connected very weakly with the communist trend of thought and the severity of Lenin, uh, which is in Marx's uh, way of thought. I warn my children of, uh, to beware and not mix the two trends of thought in one part. The Hellenistic Marxistic trend of thought is very severe. The belief in God is more from the heart and natural and always alive. But I regret that the pride and haughtiness of my three sons, uh, this uh, means only empty words, and therefore I am sorry. Do you remember such words? Eichmann replied. Uh, a search was conducted in my house after I was uh, removed from there. And this I uh, conclude from uh, what I see now. I did uh, write uh, such uh, an article because my sons so were so disinterested in their uh, intellectual development and shall we say in the development of their gifts that uh, this was meant as a warning to them. Less. And later we find on page 58 uh, he told them what he prepared for himself as a justification and excuse. Their father is uh, being uh, searched and is accused of atrocious deeds, but this is not right. He was always an officer, true and faithful to his duty, and obeyed orders, but he was never a jailer. This is also true. And uh, then he continues, uh, to his friends he admits who he is and conducts endless conversations. He reads everything that has been published about uh, his office and the Jewish problem. He holds on desperately to what would mean as a justification to his that he has an oath to the flag and was obedient to his superiors. Everyone who deviated from this way and behavior <laughs> during the last years of the right, the human feeling against the uh, obeying orders aroused the hatred of Eichmann. He calls uh, the book, he reads the book, Gerhard Bolt, The Last Days of the Reich. 
הוא מגלה בשעת הקריאה While reading, he discovered that the Paul did not obey to his, did not obey his steward's orders to the Lord Ayanka. And one uh, knows Eichmann's reaction from the marginal remark on the uh, death cover. Uh, it says, a young front officer, and that said, means the Paul, Eichmann, Underline the word front uh, officer and writes scoundrel, carries on the bullet in the hole all through the book. Uh, Wherever the name bullet is mentioned, he underwrites scoundrel, traitor, etc. In one uh, part of the book, where Bolt relates that during the last days of the uh, SS, all of a sudden, SS uh, high-ranking officers who were proud and haughty uh, became very small. and uh, needed support. The writer of this book, Eichmann, remarks, is an Eichmann. and is idiotic as a swine. Dolt is the name of this swine. That is Eichmann's remarks on the margins of the book. In another place, Eichmann writes that this author should have been skipped alive because he's so low. With such scoundrels, we had to lose the war. And finally, on the last pages of the books, Eichmann sums up one. Each one can live according to his belief. But then he should not be an officer because an officer must obey orders according to the oath he has given to his flag. And uh, again, this is once more the store he holds on to, obeying orders. And, and to his defense, he would uh, and uh, uh, show a vocabulary which he did not have at the time. He helped cold bloodedly and quickly to bring about the solution of the Jewish problem. Would you have made such marginal remarks? Eichmann replied, Yes, I did make those remarks, but. Uh, This, if when such things are being reported, then it is not fair uh, that uh, the straw I held on was something new. I always had this straw uh, to hold on, and this was my principle. And this is uh, the demand put by Kant, and this became my guiding principle in life. According to this demand, I planned my life and did not stop. When I preached to my sons and taught them, when I, was con when I thought uh, that they were lazy, disinterested in continuing their education, I tried also, in a certain measure, this is correct, I wanted to make them think. He writes in this very same article, he also reads the testimony of his friend Dita Vichitzeni, his superior. In uh, the trials, and uh, is uh, very angry that Miss Litzeni, like many others, tried to. Uh, there to uh, uh, shift the burden onto Eichmann's uh, shoulders to save yeah, his own skin. And he defines this uh, Litzeni, uh, remarks in the book, of it as a swine, and as a battle in the ears. He is also full of anger and denies Mr. Tzeni's report about a sentence which Eichmann said in the last page of war. And if it must be, I shall jump to the point gladly knowing that five million Jews were killed. The literal explanation is correct, but only one word. I did not say Jews. I said enemies of the Reich, and in this way, uh, this sentence is very natural, because when our enemies destroy our Reich, I am glad uh, to hear of every enemy killed. Uh, later, there is a lengthy explanation.
מסיבה הזאת לא יכול היה לומר חמישה מיליון יהודים? כי הוא נתון בהרבה הרבה פחות יהודים. כי אם זה כלל משנה, אם היו אלה שניים, שלושה, חמישה או שבעה מיליונים, זאת הוא איננו רואה. הוא איננו רוצה לראות זאת. האם אתה הבעת דעות כאלה של מיסטרנים? זה ייתכן, כן, זה ייתכן. והייתי, כאשר קראתי ספר זה, כאשר בא הספר לידיי, ספר לידיי או איזה עיתון מצוייר בא לידיי, שהיה שייך לי, ואז בשעת הקריאה, אם הייתי מתפלא פעם חימה קדושה, ובמצב רוח זה הייתי אוכל בעיתרון וכותב לזה מה שנראה לי בדיוק כחשוב לומר במקרה הנוכחי, ברגע הנוכחי, ואז הוא כותב הלאה, מכרים פקידים. כשתוכחו איתו אז בארגנטינה, מתארים אותו כאדם שהיה שבור בפנימיותו. הכיר אומנם באשמתו שאין לה בטעה במילים, אך לא העז להודות עליה בפני עצמו, כי אם חיפש לחימת זעם אחר צדוקים פרמליים, כדי שלא יהיה עליו לחרוץ את הדין על עצמו. זה לא נכון, זה פטפטו של עיתונאי. ואתה כדל הלן, מצפונו של אייכמן, הוא השם. עייפתי במשך הזמן להיות... ‫אייכמן. <laughs> And uh, no one can escape the voice of I one's heart, always it whispered about I coming to peace with myself. I wanted to come to peace with my enemies. This may be a part of uh, the German character and makeup. I was enough to wish to come before the German authorities. Had I not had the uh, fear that the uh, political side of the whole matter may be too loud and too big uh, to bring to a conclusion this subject. I am far from questioning the just sentence by a German court, but it is not clear to me yet what is the legalistic position that the person who once upon a time used to be given orders and had to obey them at the time and to implement them. What would be the position of no, the court towards such a person? I was only a subordinate of the SS and an officer of the security the police of the right. Long, true, diligent and full of feelings towards my fatherland and uh, of which I am proud to have been a member. I was never a scoundrel or a traitor. in my uh, character, and in spite of uh, strict personal criticism, I wish to say that I was not a murderer and not a death murderer. In the same way, my subordinates were not murderers and not death murderers. But in order to, to be true to the truth, to the hair width, I would accuse myself of helping the killings because I executed the orders for deportation and at least a part of those deported if by a different unit uh, were put to death. I said that I must accuse myself of accepting the killing if I will pronounce upon myself strict judgment, but I still do not see clearly if I am privileged to say so about my subordinate. I am here, I am still uh, have an inner conflict. because a uh, subordinate, a small official, uh, this must be understood, cannot be holier than the Pope. My subjective understanding regarding what happened was uh, my faith and belief in the emergency 
uh, of uh, the situation of the German nation and the preachings of the Reich at the time. Later, the belief uh, that the Jewish war was a necessity, and I had to believe and go on believing the declarations of the German Reich leadership at the time. A victory in that total war or the destruction of the German people. And if this was my opinion, I fulfilled my duty with a clear conscience and a believing heart, the duty I was asked to perform. Of course, uh, are these the things you were said? Is the question by Lech Eichmann? Yes, I do not remember where I gave those declarations, but these are my words, I identify them. I do not know where I made uh, this declaration, where I wrote these words. Uh, where or where from this I cannot uh, remember clearly. Less. And here as follows. The same Eichmann did not turn to be beastly, not a beast and not a uh, blunt feeling. He testifies himself uh, that he was even sensitive and in spite of that this very same man signed knowingly on orders for deportation which meant death to hundreds of thousands of people. A terrible example of the Japanese turning of the first Prussian office which continually and above uh, the obeying orders, uh, then uh, the responsibility of those who received orders, and under the swastika only one half remained, the obeying orders of the corpses. And for this forgery, for this murderous killing, he, on this he relies on the swearing loyalty to the flag. This is an experiment hopeless because Eichmann was not so primitive and not as foolish. He knew what he did. If it was according to an order or not uh, according to an order. He knew he was an officer murdering people. He had no self-respect. Yes, today is the 20th of September 1960. We shall put on now real number 56. The time is 9.57 a.m. Eichmann, as an appendix to the last tape which you read out to me, Mr. Chief Inspector, certain extracts from an article in Der Stern, which appeared this year, may I say a few more things in order to complete the picture. I wrote, so it is suggested, Mr. Inspector, you read out extracts to me, you didn't read out the whole article. So that I myself don't know in what context uh, this was written. Because in fact I wrote as follows, I cannot give this uh, word by word, but approximately. Approximately in 1953 to 55, I said that I would unhesitatingly declare myself as an accomplice to acts of murder if also those who on the basis of instructions which they received for the deportation of uh, Jews, old and young, would also proclaim themselves accomplices to acts of murder and would also be punished by the powers which were then the enemies of Germany. So apparently I wrote millions of
כן, אדוני השופט. אם זה לא רבבות ביוונית? לא, אדוני השופט, זה מאות. בדקת? כבר שכחתי מכל קבוצות הגילים, ולא שמעתי עד כה עמדתי אחר כך בהקשר זה על מיני הירושימה ומלחמות והגירושים וההריגות גם לאחר 45. כמובן שלפחות המשפט של היום, בהתאם לקביעות של היום, לפי משפט נירנברג הראשון, כלומר התקדים של ‫הוא חל, כפי הנראה, ‫זאת אומרת, תהל-אב, ‫הוא חל, כפי הנראה, ‫זאת אומרת, ‫הוא חל, כפי הנראה, ‫זאת אומרת, ‫הוא חל, כפי הנראה, ‫זאת אומרת, ‫הוא חל, את העניינים האלה לא היה עלי לגלות רק בארגנטינה, אלא דברים אלה היו העניינים היסודיים ביותר של כל נושאי מדהים בכל הזמנים. מה הציבור מאוד הוא כמובן, שבכלל מתרחשים דברים כאלה בין אנשים. Saddening that, uh, things like this take place between uh, men, but I didn't invent them, nor did I give orders about them, nor could I stop them. Finally, uh, although this may be less interesting in this context, but I've also been thinking about this with regard to the quotations from the book. Uh, ‫דרך אגב, זה הכול, אדוני הפרטי. ‫אדוני הפרטי. ‫דרך אגב, Ich habe damals stur meinen Befehlen gefolgt und stur meinen Befehlen Gehorsam geleistet und daran habe ich meine, wie soll ich mal sagen, meine Erfüllung gefunden und hatte meine Beruhigung in diesen, wie es hieß und wie wir uns ja nicht anders darunter vorstellen konnten, Schicksalskampf des deutschen Volkes, egal was man mir für einen Auftrag gegeben hätte, Herr Hauptmann. ‫כלום לא ראית אז שאלת קיום ‫שכל העם היהודי... ‫אז שאלת קיום של העם היהודי... ‫אז שאלת קיום של העם היהודי... 
superintendent. If they had told me at that time, your father is a traitor, and uh, if I knew that my own father was a traitor and I was to kill him, I would have done it without any hesitation whatsoever. Uh, I was obeying blindly to orders, and I fulfilled those orders in blind obedience. And uh, thereby I found my self-fulfillment and gratification. And uh, I was fully satisfied with the fulfilling of the orders. This was for us the faithful war of the German people. And whatever task would devolve upon me or would be thrust upon me, I would have fulfilled it blindly and with enthusiasm. These are the passages which at this day we wanted to bring to the attention of the court. Of course, uh, so far as the uh, testimonies are concerned, there would be some other passages uh, which will be at a later stage.